Hi everyone, I'm Michael Bisping and welcome to the instructional DVD for technical striking and takedown defence. This is Lucas Les, one of my training partners who's going to be helping me demonstrate some of the moves today. Um, some of the things we're going to go over, we're going to, you know, very basic striking, um, but we're going to show it done correctly. Um, I've been doing striking since I was you know, eight years old and uh, still I, I get corrected every day in training by my coaches. So we're going to cover everything from jabs, right hand, uppercuts, knees, kicks, blocks, um, blocks and counters to all those moves. Some of the training, um, some routines that I like to do, some, uh, at the end we'll cover some, um, some uh, weight training for explosive power and to, to put some extra power into your punches and your strikes. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so obviously for striking, one of the main, one of the most important things is, uh, is that your stance is correct. Um, if, if your stance isn't correct, your, your punches aren't going to have uh, the right amount of impact and power. You're going to be off balance when you throw it. Uh, if your stance isn't correct, if somebody hits you, um, you know you're going to be knocked down or, or um, you know, hit with a lot more ease than what you should be. Um, so the, be the best way of describing it, if I stand side on, if you stand side on, if you stand like this, and just take a little step forward like this here. That pretty much puts you in the correct, um, the correct fighting stance. Take one step forward, like that there. Turn your back foot so it's at 45 degrees and take your heel off the floor. Right hand here by the chin and left hand here just in front of you. So again, one step forward, turn that 45 degrees here, there. You're on good balance here. You can move around, throw any shot, okay? You should be able to move around and throw any shot you want, okay, without having to, to readjust, okay? So again, one step forward, turn, lift your heel off the floor. The reason the heel is off the floor is that you, you can move. You don't want to be flat footed because you're a static target. You've got your heel off the floor, you can push up at any time, back, side to side, whatever, okay? Um, so that's the stance. Um, but one thing I like to do when I'm warming, warming up for striking is, is a little footwork drill. Um, I did it on the Ultimate Fighter, I had those guys doing it every day, and uh, something that I like to do. Um, so again, take one step forward. In your fighting stance, all we're going to do, we're going to go on a square. So you push forward here, to the side, here, back, to there, 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 there. It's very simple and basic, but it's good for footwork here and there. Then I'm going forward, I push off the back leg, there, then I'm going to the right, I push off the left leg, here. When I'm going backwards, push off the front leg, and, I'll, and when I'm going to the left, I push off the right leg, there. Do that here like this, going in the square. Eventually, when you've built up momentum and you feel comfortable with that, you can start throwing some strikes on. So you go forward, one, two, to the side, left up, right hand, back, up, cut, left up. Whatever you want, whatever it is, at any, whenever you stop, you should be able to throw any strike without having to readjust. If you've got to change your feet to readjust whatever, then, then your stance isn't correct. So again here, come forward, I've got a jab, straight, whatever I want, knees, here, kicks, whatever it may be. Okay, again, bang, bang, forward. Okay, we're going to go over these punches later, um, but this is just a footwork drill to get, it, to get your stance correct. Anything you want here, boom, without changing your feet. You know, in a fight, you don't want to have to move out of, way, out of the way, and then to land the strike, You've got, to, you've got to change your foot position, by then you might have missed the opportunity to land the punch. So your feet are going to be correct all the time here. Bang, bang, whatever it is. So that's a little warm up drill that I like to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to co uh, cover is the jab. Um, the jab sets everything up, you know, it's, you, if you use it as a range finder, if, if, if you're striking, you use your jab as a range finder, see where you're at. Uh, it sets up punchy, uh, sorry, right hands, kicks, all kinds of things, it keeps your man at bay. The jab can be a good, strong, powerful shot as well. If you land the jab properly, you know, it can really stop a guy in the tracks. If a guy's coming forward all the time, bang! A good jab will, will stop him where he is. Um, and as I said, it, um, it, it, it sets up all combinations, okay? So, the way to throw a jab, so we're here, okay? Luke's just holding his hand up there as a target. Again, correct stance, hand here, there. You don't want to telegraph anything you throw, you don't want to telegraph it. You don't want to make a face or then go like that, that you're going to throw it and then, you know, 
flinch or something and to throw it because you know it's coming. You want to be here, there, throw the jab there. And what we're going to do, extend the arm. As I extend the arm, the arm's twisting. So it comes out here, there, but also the hips come into everything. Just like in all sports, the hips are very, very important. Jiu-Jitsu on the ground, in wrestling, in golf, uh, in, in boxing, in anything, the hips, a lot of the power is generated from the hips. And, and, and the jab is no exception. From here, we're gonna twist the hips there, throw the jab out straight, twist the arm as it comes there, bam, there. Yeah, and just throw the jab out, okay? Nice and relaxed here, again, fighting stance. Shoulder up, when I throw the jab, ideally the shoulder up, it twists there, and the chin, see my chin now, is protected by my own shoulder. Okay, so it comes out here, and there, and twist the hips, bang, there. So now if he tries to punch me, and he does connect, I'm protected. If he does hit my head, he's not, he's not hitting my jaw. When, when we land the jab, I want to throw it there, and it comes back straight to the position that it was in when I threw the shot. You don't want to throw, a lot of people will throw it there, then drop it there, and come back. I throw the jab there, I drop it there, Lucas has got a bang, you're going to get punched in the face. So, again, jab, boom, back to position. Here, bang, bang, bang. Lucas jabs, and then that jab. Okay. Okay, um, staying with the jab. What we can also do is we can step in and throw a jab, okay, so from here, we step in, plant our feet, boom, and throw the shot, and step out, okay, so we can jab here, and mid-range, we can from, from long range, we step in, jab, and step out again, or alternatively, we can step in, jab, throw a right hand on the end, and step out, okay, so here, correct stance, here, we're stepping in, jab, and out, okay, we're going to move on to the right hand now, the right hand, again, correct stance, we stand here. As I said earlier, all the power is generated in the hips. I'd say 75% of the power is generated from the legs and the hips. The arm is probably just 25% of the power. Um, if I stand this side here, just to demonstrate, sorry, we just stand here. I throw the punch, as I said, the back foot's from 45 degrees, the heel's off the floor. I twist here, push off there, I twist my shoulders, the elbow comes up and I twist it there. It's not here like that or like that. It's it's coming over there and chopping. So if Lucas is here, over here, chopping over the jaw. Okay, so twist the arm, boom, all in one. Here, so boom. So Lucas gives me a target to strike. I'm standing here, there, I twist, boom, and back. Again, as I throw it, it comes right back to the jaw. I don't throw the shot, boom, there. Drop it down and bring it back. Everything's nice and neat, nice and compact. I twist my hip, boom, and then I extend the shot. Here, bang, and back. Again, and back. Again, here, in range, moving around. I don't telegraph it, I don't uh, tense my face up to throw, I just here, bang. 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 Okay, now we're going to put the two shots together and go through a jab cross, a left jab and a right cross. Okay, so whether we're stood at long range here or mid range or we're in close, the move is the same. If we're out here, we can push off the back foot, as I showed earlier, a little step in here, one, two, there. If we're, if, if we're already in range, you can just throw it there, okay? So the mechanics of the punches are exactly the same as I've shown before. Obviously, this time we're putting them together. But as one shot goes out, if one hand is out, the other hand is by the chin. At no point is the chin not protected. If that goes there, as it comes back, the other one goes out. So here, we take a step in, we plant our feet, jab, right hand, out. Step in, jab, out, and back. It's not... Jab, I mean you can do that, but it's better if you plant your feet first and then throw the shots, okay? I mean you can step and jab at the same time, boom, and set it up, but if you can plant your feet first, because then you get that twist of the hips. Okay, so here, bam, bam, and out. Here, bam, bam, out. 
Nice and jab cross. Now we're going to move on to the double jab, double jab right hand, one that I like to use a lot. The double jab right hand's good, I think, because when Lucas, if Lucas throws two jabs at me, and if we're fighting, if he's throwing consecutive punches, I, I, I'm covering up. Um, I'm covering up from those shots, you know. Whilst I'm throwing shots at Lucas, it's hard for him to show, uh, throw shots back because he's got to defend what I'm throwing at him. So if I can be here, I can be out here, I can jab, jab, boom, and then come with the right hand over the top. So Lucas has his hands in position, acting as a pad man. I come here, I can be out here. I step, jab, jab, right hand. The first two jabs, yeah, they're great. If you can land them, that, 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 that's beautiful. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to distract him to set up the right hand, okay? The right hand's the big the shot that we're, we're really concerned about on this one. But as I said, the jabs are great, but we're trying to do some damage, okay? So we're here, step in, jab, jab, boom. And that's the shot we want, the right hand. From here, step, step, bam, there. And back out. Bam, bam, bam. And then back out. Every time back out in, in mixed martial arts, we're using boxing gloves here to, uh, to demonstrate, but in mixed martial arts, obviously, we wear the small four ounce gloves. Um, and you know, <coughs> fighters will tell you from experience, and, and, and you can see from watching it, it only takes one good shot in a mixed martial arts fight to put a guy down, as it, as it can do with boxing. But obviously, you know, with uh, smaller gloves, it's, it's um, a little easier to get knocked out. So you, do, you, you don't want to stay in the pocket too long. You don't want to, you don't want to be in this range too much. In a, in a mixed martial arts fight, you know, because it's very dangerous. Also, if you're in close here, the guy's gonna, you're gonna grab hold of each other, you're gonna clinch, a wrestler's gonna take you down, or whatever. So you wanna go in, you wanna land your shots, and then get out of the way. So bang, 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 and away. See the footwork here? I go, step, step, boom, and away. Bang, 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 and away. So me and Lucas will do that back to back. There's a little drill you can do here. I do one, Lucas does one. It's good for conditioning and uh, building up punch resistance. It's just nice and slow, Lucas. Right. So I, I, I strike Lucas, Lucas strikes me. So from here, bah, 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 and then Lucas. Notice on the footwork, the footwork is like this all the time, you're shuffling. At no point do we ever, ever cross our feet or bring our feet together. We're not doing this, ever. Always like this. Look again. Okay, if we like this, and Lucas hits me, bang, I'm gonna get knocked over, okay? Um, also, if I'm like this, and there's an opportunity to punch, I can't get the shot off. If I can throw it, there's going to be no power. You know, so, again, this, you know, footwork is very, very important. And that was a double jab, right cross. <coughs> okay, the next move we're going to go on to is the left hook. Again, these moves are very, very basic boxing moves. Um, but, you know, myself, after years and years of training, you know, I'm... Still perfecting them. Um, I'm a, my boxing coach and my Thai boxing coach still pick fault with me, you know. So uh, if I've got to work on them, then I'm sure some of you guys at home watching this have still got to work on them as well. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go on the basics of it again. So we're here in a correct stance. Throw the left hook. The first thing we do is transfer a little bit of weight onto the lead leg. The lead leg is what's going to generate the power to, 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 for the um, for the shot. As I said earlier, it's not an arm punch. It's here, there. You're not getting much power into it, and even from there, you can twist and get more power. But if you transfer to the lead leg and then boom, really over there, you get more power. Obviously, you've got to be careful that you don't lean onto it too much to telegraph the move. You don't want to lean onto it there too much because any guy who's good is going to know that when I go there, no, sorry, he's going to come, I'm going to come here to throw the left hook, you know. So it's just a very subtle weight transference. So we come here. Lean on the front leg a little bit and come over there. Now when I throw the shot, so I come in here, hands protecting here, comes here. The arm wants to be at 90 degrees, okay? And he wants to be level with the guy, uh, with, with, with the target that you're throwing. You don't want to be coming up 
or over, you want to be here and level there, okay? It's up to you how you want to land the shot, you can land it like that or like that, doesn't really make too much of a difference, okay? So here, bang, twist, boom, to there, and then back to stance, okay? Again here, transfer the weight, twist your hips, and comes up and makes the shot, here, again, step, transfer, back to guard. Okay, here, transfer the weight, there, nice left up, that's a left up. So the next move we're going to do now is the uppercut. It's, it's going to be a back uppercut from the rear hand, okay, so we're here, again in our stance. As I said, it's all in the hips, okay, transfer weight, slight length of the back foot, we're coming here and the hips are coming up there and then the last minute the uppercut, the, the, the arm is whipping up. If I stand here like this, we're coming back, we're transferring weight here, that's what gets the power in the uppercut and at the last minute, boom, the arm whips up. When you throw the uppercut, if I just look at the camera here, you're throwing it directly straight. You're not coming here to the angle or anything, you know, offside. Um, it needs to be directly up on the, on the, on the, on the Lucas's chin because he's got his hands here and he's come up through the centre here. Boom. There. I thought I was going to hit you then, didn't you? <laughs> um, so again, we're here, transfer the weight onto the back foot, come round, hit, and then. <coughs> For, for, for whip the arm up at the last second. So Lucas is going to give me a target there. A little bit higher, so here, back, and up. Here, back, up. Back to guard, every time. Left hand's protecting your jaw. Back, and up. Um, every move that we show here today obviously needs drilling time and time and time again. Obviously you've got the benefit of the DVD, I only need to show it once. But every move here, practice makes perfect. You need to drill it a thousand times. Yeah? Everything over and over again, whether it's the right hand, get a punch bag or a good training partner, you've got to drill these moves over and over again. So, that's the uppercut. Okay, what we're going to do now is just going to put a few of those moves together and then we're going to incorporate some defences um, and some training drills. Um, I, I, as I was saying earlier, um, you know, with, with, the small, with the small gloves in MMA, you've got to land your shots and then get out of range or step off to the side, whatever, so you can land more shots. But you want to hit and be able to move and not get hit. Obviously, you don't want to take punches, you know. Um, you, you, I'd say the objective is to hit them and not get hit. People may disagree, but... What, so you want to hit and get hit yourself? Is, is, is that what you're saying? No, you want to, I want to hit Lucas without getting punched myself. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to step in, boom, boom. Lucas is going to throw a jab. I'm moving him out of range, again, bang, and I come back in with the right hand. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So again, we're going to go here, I'm going to push in, jab, right hand. Anyone who's decent after they've been hit, they're going to throw something back. Okay, they're not going to stand there and get hit. Yeah, if I hit him in the face, he's going to think, you know, damn you, you you're having one back. <laughs> Very controlled with the language there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to step in, jab, right hand. Lucas comes in. I push off the front leg. Okay, he's on. He's trying to hit me with a jab. He goes there, bang. Come in with a big right hand. So again, nice and slow. I step in, jab, there, back, in, boom, right hand. Okay, jab. Right hand, step, bang, and counter. Okay? Make them miss, make them pay. If I hit him and then he throws a shot, he, I throw a shot, I've made him miss, he's left himself vulnerable for a split second and I come in and strike. Okay? That's the idea. So that's what we're going to do. And step in, bang, bang, away, back in, right hand, back to stance, reset. Here, boom, boom, here, boom. Again, bang, bang. Here, in, boom. Bah, bah. Boom. Bah, bah. Boom. Boom. And 
then you swap over maybe with your, with your partner and do that 20 times each keep drilling over and over again okay um, now we're going to move on to a defense from the jab okay so we're going to be able to throw a jab and land the jab but if, but as i said it's, it's the key to the door you know it sets up most of the moves so your opponent's going to be throwing the jab a lot as well so you've got to be able to defend to that um, the easiest way of defending the jab i find is is, is the parry as Lucas thought, just nice and slow, he throws the jab, I just parry the jab here. So we're here, we're in strike, we've got all our postures correct, hands are right, Lucas throws the jab, we just parry, try and land it in the face, just there. That's all it is, parry the jab. The parry, as it's coming in, you're just slapping it off, off, um, off angle, as it's coming in, you're just knocking it away from its target so it misses you. Here, nice and fluffy, just parry the jab. And then you can move round, I can throw it to make it a drill and practice your footwork at the same time. I can alternate it. I can throw a jab at Lucas and he parries his. So we're moving round, he jabs, bang. Moving round to the boxing, then I'm going to jab. Ready? Bang. Parry. Okay, so there we've shown um, the, the, the four basic shots, a jab, a right hand, a left hook, and a right uppercut. Okay, we've shown a left hook, but obviously you can throw a right hook as well, okay? The principles are kind of the same. And um, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put them together for a combination. Obviously, you don't wanna throw single shots. Single shots are okay, maybe if you're just, uh, you know, if you're just trying to set something up, but you, you really wanna throw in combinations. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put those four punches together to start with, and then we're gonna mix the combinations up. Okay, so it's going to be jab, right hand, left hook, uppercut. So we're here, nice and slow, step in, jab, right hand, left hook, uppercut. Okay, remember, every time we throw a shot, the hand comes back to defend the jaw. If one goes out, the other one comes in. Okay, so we're here, step in, jab, right hand, left hook, uppercut. Okay, we're here, one, two, three, four. Yeah. 